In one of my previous videos, I had an interesting question in the comments. The viewer asked, do ants have foreskin? The obvious answer is no, because ants don't have skin. Instead, they have a hard exoskeleton. However, the anatomy of the genitalia of male ants is fascinating. As with any structure, their form and function go hand in hand. Males of social insects are often overlooked. They have short lifespans and are basically sperm missiles. They die after mating. But in order to understand male ants, we need to take a broader look at their cousins. Ants are in the order Hymenoptera, which includes ants, bees, wasps, sawflies, and horntails. Of these, only all ants are eusocial. All hymenopterans follow the haploid diploidy sex determination system, where males develop from haploid, unfertilized eggs, and females develop from fertilized eggs. However, diploid males can occur due to having the same sex allele. Diploid males are usually infertile. The ancestors of ants and bees was probably solitary wasp-like. Solitary wasp males feed on nectar for energy and actively look for females. They are sometimes aggressive and territorial. They are not involved with raising the young or nest building activity. Typically, these male wasps are laid last, closest to the nest entrance so they can emerge first. They are more expendable and will be able to catch other females to mate. Many of the male solitary wasps have genital spines that function as pseudo stingers to scare predators. However, they cannot deliver venom. Moving over to ants, some of the most primitive ants belong to the subfamily Ponerinae. Some of the most well-known ants belong to this group, such as Harbignathal saltator, the Indian jumping ant, which has been a model organism for studying neuroscience, epigenetics, and social behavior. Odontomachus, or trap jaw ants also belong to this group. One of the most well documented behavior within this subfamily is the remarkable reproductive plasticity. Some species such as the Indian jumping ant or Dicamera rugosum, the Bornean queenless ant, lack queens and instead have a gamma gate system where workers can gain reproductive function. New gamma gates attract males with pheromones who come into the nest to mate. However, I couldn't find a lot of research on the Ponderine males. Male insects in general have remarkable genitalia. Pause. They have distinct morphological features and diverse functions. Ant male genitalia are largely undescribed, with the exception of some species. Knowledge of genitalic functional morphology contributes to our understanding of the sexual selection pressures which act on these organs, and may possibly be used to make predictions about the reproductive biology of ants. One of the most well-known male ants is the army ant male. Army ants are particularly well-structured, they are ecologically significant, and they have very complex social structures and are nomadic, unlike other ants which they put in one nest. The males of army ants are often called sausage flies due to their large beefy appearance. They can measure between 30 to 35 millimeters, and they are the largest ant males. Furthermore, a single male can carry a hundred million sperm, about the same as a human ejaculate. Army ant queens do not have mating flights. Instead, colonies reproduce through colony fission, similar to honeybees. During their mating period, the males have to find queens to mate in the vast, dense rainforest. It is thought that the queens produce an extremely volatile pheromone to attract mates as she has a lot of excrement glands. Males have also been observed following old trails left behind by colonies. They follow these raiding trails so they can encounter a nest. Once a male has entered a colony to mate, he will shed his wings, assisted by the workers. Army ant queens only mate during a short period of time, like other ant species. However, they have to mate with about 10 to 20 males to ensure their enormous colony size. African driver ants, which are a species of army ants, can lay about 3.5 million eggs per month. Each colony can contain up to 20 million workers at a single time. During mating, the males will use his mandibles to grab onto the petiole of the queen or her waist. Echidon queens have impressive horns that are on this, which allow the males to grab on. Stage copulations have been observed to last up to 10 hours. 
The male genitalia of the army ant, specifically the African driver ant, consist of the testes, the vasa afferentia, the vasa deferentia, the seminal vesicles, the accessory glands, the bound accessory gland duct, the ejaculatory duct, and wedge, the adagal bladder, and the external genitalia. Doralis males also possess unique genital capsule morphology, where a tiny diamond-shaped structure is formed from a fragment of the basomeres and visibly dorsal over the adagus. The adagus is analogous to the human penis and is where insects secrete sperm. Besides the army ant, there are many other ants with very interesting mating behaviors. Black crazy ant queens can clone themselves and the males that they mated with, which can then mate in the nest, perpetuating the colony, basically forever. There was also a new study done on harvester ants, showing that some species can clone males of another species, which is really weird and fascinating. This research shows us how much we still don't know about the biology of ants, especially the males, which have often been overlooked due to their obsolete role in colony function. Thanks for watching and keep asking questions, no matter how obscure.